Hey, welcome back to another episode of your review channel. Do appreciate you stopping by for this one. In this video, we're going to teach you how to install an Anderson door auxiliary foot latch, just like you see here. I'm going to show you how to do it and pretty much how to put it together. It's real easy. Before we do, let's not forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. I do appreciate that. And let's get into the video right now. A door, a sliding door. This is a sliding Anderson door. So basically what I want to do is I want to add a foot lock to this door. So here I want to add a foot lock here to add more security. Uh, so basically we're going to mount the foot, uh, the foot lock here. We're going to drill a hole into this aluminum and that will stop anybody who's trying to get in the home. So a lot of times they can lift these doors off the track and they can actually shimmy them off the track and get these doors open. But if you have one of these foot locks on, it's almost impossible to slide the door open because once they get it off the track, they can unlatch this part here, and it's easy to open. This latch can be popped off. So with the footlock on, they can move the door out. And that's what this is all about. It's all about how to install a foot latch on an innocent door. We're gonna do it, I wanna show you how to do it. We're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna get going. Okay, any questions or comments, leave below. And let's uh, start putting on this foot uh, lock on this innocent door. And let's go over a couple of tools that we will need. Okay, so we will need a power drill. I have my cobalt uh, brushless drill here, 24 volt max. I'll leave a description below. Um, so if you need a drill, this is an awesome drill, by the way. Great drill. There is a screwdriver, Craftsman. Okay, so Phillips. And also you will need bits that drill into metal. Not wood bits, you want metal bits, okay? So here is my metal bit kit. I've had this for a long time. Again, I'll leave a link below. These aren't cheap to buy but they last a real long time and you can sharpen these. So we got the, we got the drill, we got the screwdriver, and we got our bits. And the bits are gonna drive, drive, uh, we'll drill right into the metal and I'll show you how we do all this. All right, here's what we need, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the auxiliary foot lock. That's what it's called, it's an auxiliary foot lock. It is an Anderson model. Um, this is the one I elected to get. I believe this is the correct one for this door, I'm pretty sure it is. And they have different colors, so this one does match my door the best. Uh, they had slate, they had different colors, so this is the right one. Uh, so you press down on it and then you kick it to unlock it. And I'll show you everything how to do it. Got two big screws that go into the door, that actually secures it to the door. And then you drill into the aluminum with this piece here, that sticks out. And that piece goes right into the aluminum here. And that's where that goes. And that pretty much, and you can actually do steps. So if you want to keep it open six inches, you can actually do it, you know, do a drill here, you can do a drill here, whatever you want. And you can, and once it's locked into that spot, pretty much hard to open that door. Uh, so that's how that works. So let's take this apart and take a look at it and see what we got. All right, so let's, let's take it apart and take a look at it and see what we got. Okay, and this is all nice metal construction, no plastic here. This is all high quality. Uh, innocent products that we all know and trust and you can't go wrong with the quality of innocent products if you can get it out of the package it's locked in here all right so so basically how it works is that once you put it into the door you step on it down see how it goes in and when you kick it with your foot it unlocks it I'll show you again. You push down with your foot to lock it, and that pushes this pin down into the door, and then you just release it like that, okay? And that's how this pin works. Let's take a look at the instructions. It looks pretty easy. I don't expect any complications with this whatsoever. And you can see it'll mount sideways, and I'll just show you how that works. Okay, guys, so this is the actual parts. Let's go over this again. So we got the two screws. So the two screws go into here like this. You can see that's one. One screw here. And then one screw there, okay? These little grommets here, once you drill the hole, that will go in there like that, and that gives you a little, um, like, so if there's any rough edges, you can just put a cap right on that, and that's where, you, where your, um, your stop will go for the, for the bottom of the, um, you know, the lock here. So that will go inside there. So let's take a look here. So let's just get a dry fit and see where we're at. So this is gonna sit right, you can see it's, it's made for this. It sits in there beautifully. You can see, how we can tell, it is just, and you just step, when you step it down, it'll just, and that's where it's gonna go. So the, so the thing, the tricky is, the trick part uh, is just to mark where you want that to go. Uh, and basically, you just tap that, makes a little indent, and that's pretty much, you close the door, and that's where you want it to go. Very, very easy. And then you can just drill your hole, take this out of the way, drill your hole, and put it in. 
So let's do that. As you can see, it's it's made for the door, so it's gonna fit here beautifully. Perfect. Please say, put it where you want it to be, okay? And then you take a hammer and you bang the top of this and it makes a dent exactly where you want to drill your hole for your base, for your uh, for the bottom of the latch here. So put it on here, two bangs, and then you can see right there, it made a mark exactly where you want to drill. Very, very easy. It can't get any hard, it can't get any simpler than this. I'll show you. You bang that twice, and there is your drill. Let's make a hole. Let's figure out the bit size, and we're gonna drill that hole out. We're gonna mount this in. It says keep it about a quarter, an eighth of an inch off of it, so we'll keep it up an eighth of an inch like it says. We'll drill the hole, we'll put the grommet in, and this is done real quick. All right, let's get into the figure out a drill bit that we need. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one here, this drill bit. I think this might be good. Uh, let's see. Hopefully you guys can get a good view here. This is a tough angle for me. One second. All right, let me just a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm taking, I'm pretty much drilling a hole exactly where I made the puncture. And it's kind of, the only thing about it, it's a little hard to get into this corner here because of the way the door is. But that's just, that's just the way it is. He's moving around. Once you start it, that'll be the end of that. Okay guys, so I want to just go over this with you. So I'm just drilling out this hole here. Um, so I'm basically doing it in a couple different steps. Um, so I'm making sure it fits correctly. And I use a diff couple different bit sizes. So I just went up a couple, like, I went up like two bit sizes. And I decided not to use the little rubber grommet. I think it makes too big of a hole personally. I wanted to keep the integrity um, as much as possible. As you can see, I think the grommet, that rubber piece is just too big. It would take up too much metal and I didn't like that. And I don't think it's going to look, in. once it's closed, you're not even going to see the hole, basically. It's underneath. So that's what I did. So I just eliminated that. I basically just did a little filing of that. If it was a little rough, now you can bang it down with a hammer. Just get all those shavings out of the way. You know, vacuum it all up, get it cleaned up. And that's what I did. And I made it really smooth. So that was my workaround. I didn't use the grommet. I installed one of these before. I did the same thing. I didn't like that rubber thing. It made, you have to go up like four more steps more. And I just didn't want to do that. I didn't want to, you know jeopardize or you know the integrity of the aluminum I didn't really want to just make it that much bigger so I kept it small kept it tight as possible um, so it opens and closes without any problem whatsoever um, so if you're enjoying the video so far uh, please uh, like share and subscribe it does help me out quite a bit I do appreciate that also if you have any comments or questions leave below um, if you have any issues or if you have any trouble with this do with this installation let me know and I'm glad to help you not a problem whatsoever this is really really easy uh, do it yourself. You don't have to hire a handyman or something. You really can do this yourself. You'll save a ton of money. It's literally make like a 20 minute install. I watch the video a couple times. Just look at it, figure it out. It's really, really easy. But if you have any questions at all, leave it below and I will definitely get back to you. I get back to all my people. I get back to all the comments and questions and I do appreciate that. All right, guys, let's get back into it. And, and as you can see here, I'm just drilling it a little bit more um, just to get that opening a little bit wider to get that smooth. Um, so when it opens and when the latch engages, it doesn't hit anything. It's really, really super uh, smooth, not to worry. And don't be afraid. Like I said, don't be afraid. And I'll leave all the, the link below with all the tools that you need and also a link uh, for the actual latch itself if you're looking for it. And I'll leave a link below for that as well. All right, so let's get into the finishing of this product here. I'm just like I said, I'm just opening up a little bit more. Just keep it clean um, and keep it organized and just, you know, make it make sure it's flush and make sure it's just the operation is really really smooth and then you basically screw it into the side of the door and you're done and that's it all right so let's just get to the end of the video and like i said if you're enjoying everything please give me a like and, a, and, a, and a, also please subscribe it does help me all right guys so let's get into the rest of the video and take a screw and basically just drive it in that's all you have to do no fancy footwork here. Just keep it a little above. Right there is where I'm going to drill. So it's a little above. Okay. 
right there. That goes down, that goes up. Down, up, down, okay? That locks it in. So now you can see that it's locked. You cannot open this door. There's just no way. It is like tight as a drum. It's not going anywhere. I'm gonna unlock it, boom. You wanna make another mark here. You can close it six, six inches, three inches, whatever you wanna do. That's it. All right, hope you learned how to put these in real easy. Any questions or comments, leave below. I'll leave all the stuff that you need below uh, as far as the tools um, and where you can buy it and so forth. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out as always, as you know, and I appreciate you tuning into your review channel. You make it a good one and do things yourself. Save a ton of money. That's it. Have a good night.